Uh, hi guys, uh, so this is the video on uh, how I set up my MOSFET but uh, normally without using, using MOSFET this is what we use, uh, we use a simple micro switch so once we trigger the micro switch you just fire off the wire you just fire off the uh, flywheels so for this kind of setup um, the uh, current is going through your micro switch so you, you do have to find a uh, suitable micro switch for your application so i guess if uh, if you're modding with uh, flywheels chances are no you'll be a, there will be a point of time whereby you might you might be thinking of uh, using a mosfet okay so this is basically my setup so later on i'll just go through the uh, circuit diagram and how what's the how what's the procedure i took to wire up all this so with a MOSFET it be something like this so the uh, current will go through the MOSFET and then to the flywheel however to trigger this flow you are actually using another switch over here so this will send a voltage to the gate of the uh, MOSFET so if the uh, potential difference between the gate and the source of a uh, N channel MOSFET reaches uh, the what the specific specification uh, specified basically current will then flow okay, so in this case all the uh, high current will be going through the MOSFET and not through your micro switch over here so uh, you can still retain uh, the very small micro switch that comes with your blaster or even change it to something of your choice and uh, you do not need a micro switch that handle high, high current so uh, this is basically just and I would another way you can implement your your switches yeah so some application is maybe you want to handle very high current or basically the uh, position of where you place the switch is just not conducive for a big one so you can still use a small one yeah so yeah so there are quite a number of uh, application that uh, you might want to use that uh, so I guess using MOSFET is just uh, one more sort of trick that you can uh, implement for your mod so yeah so now i'm going to show you how i um, create the uh, mosfet okay let's look at the circuit diagram first of all uh, these are all the parts that i make use of for the uh, implementation so basically for the mosfet itself i choose this guy over here so uh, this guy is very good for no handling high current and the good thing is it's also optimized for logic level that means you can also use it with your micro control controller like Arduino so uh, the 5 volt will activate this MOSFET uh, nicely so uh, that's why I, I choose this MOSFET anyway uh, I'll make use of this diode for the flyback um, diode and then of course a 10 10k ohm and then a 100 ohm register so for the MOSFET most, most of them will come with gate uh, I mean <laughs> for the MOSFET they, they will have a gate drain and source yeah so in uh, most of them will have, have it in this order so uh, this is the complete uh, circuit diagram so if we go part by part normally I will start off with uh, connecting the uh, 10k uh, register so later on I will show you a picture of the uh, the actual MOSFET itself how I wire, wire them up so um, yeah so first step normally I'll wire up the uh, 10k ohm from the uh, gate to the source followed by a uh, 100 ohm at the gate this is uh, to act as a um, current lim limiting uh, register so uh, some might not use this but uh, for me I'll just put it anyway so if anything terrible happened to the MOSFET at least I don't have a maximum current going through here yep so uh, next normally I'll just connect a, uh, a uh, black wire to, uh, from the source uh, this will eventually go to the uh, battery negative then I'll prepare the diode okay so I'll normally connect the black prepare and then connect the uh, red now uh, after this portion the next step is basically I'll just connect this portion to the drain itself Okay, so basically uh, for this uh, N channel MOSFET uh, to trigger it basically um, you apply a voltage to the uh, gate and when uh, enough voltage is, is being applied 
then they'll allow a flow from the drain to the source to complete the entire circuit right so the next step is basically I'll just connect it to the drain and then I will tap the uh, the, the uh, red wire to basically this will act as a uh, a, a source to my uh, gate so later on later on you have a switch over here so when it's depressed then there will be a voltage to the uh, gate now uh, this MOSFET that I choose um, I think the threshold is plus minus 20 volt so it's um, it's good enough to uh, uh, to support our 3S LiPo without any further no um, uh, regulator voltage regulator to pull it down or something like that okay so after the which basically you just need to um, connect all the connectors if necessary and then uh, the rest switch itself so uh, so for the actual diagram so first step normally I'll connect the uh, 10k ohm so what I'll do is um, uh, use the 10k ohm and then uh, I'll just tour around the gate so this is the gate uh, for of the MOSFET so make sure you check your specification to make sure it's the gate so after which I'll just solder uh, I'll just solder this portion first then I will apply a heat string and then bring this down and solder the other side uh, as you can see over here so once I sol solder the uh, gate uh, I'll put a heat string over the uh, register and then again I'll just twirl around here you can pull the uh, pin slightly apart uh, it'll be uh, easier to solder then uh, I'll just solder it yeah so this after this procedure you get this so the next one is basically to solder the uh, 100 ohm uh, current limiting register so I'll just cut this pin to size and then just solder it so later on I'll solder the blue wire here okay so once we do that uh, we have uh, this done so the next step is basically I'll just solder a black wire so this eventually will go to the uh, battery battery itself the negative of the battery so I'll just solder the black wire and then uh, heat shrink it okay so we all have this done so the next step is to prepare the diode uh, the diode is uh, in this case is it's going to act as a flyback diode so I'll prepare the diode normally I will um, do the black portion first okay prepare the wire and then solder the uh, the uh, diode to the black portion do remember uh, the, the black part to the black wire the silver is to the red the silver is to the red wire okay so I will strip away uh, part of the installation of the uh, black wire uh, solder it and then I'll prepare the red wire and then uh, prepare to solder uh, this to here all right Okay, so basically I'm trying to do the uh, this portion now okay to have the red wire okay so I'll solder it now I will apply a heat string to uh, protect all this uh, exposed area mm. uh, once I've done that so the next step is to solder this portion to here okay the black one okay so is to connect the, um, the the black wire to the drain so basically the MOSFET, MOSFET will you can think about it if, if there's no voltage uh, applied to the gate okay this connection does not exist so the current cannot flow okay so now what if you have enough voltage applied to the gate then they will allow the drain and the source to be sort of like a, a channel sort of opens up kind of situation so now you have a complete circuit whereby no current can flow you can think about it that way all right so this is how okay this is actually to the, the drain itself okay so the drain will eventually flow to the source and then this part and this part to the battery yeah okay so basically uh no battery go you have your motor okay then come back okay if no voltage to the gate yeah you you cannot flow but once it's established then you'll just flow okay and then back to the battery itself okay that, that's how it goes okay all right so once we have this part done the last part is to supply some uh, voltage to the gate so how do we do that we can actually tap tap from the uh, power source all right so um so later on we'll have a switch over here 
so if we don't depress the switch of course there's no voltage to the gate so no voltage to the gate this resistor will pull it down so MOSFET will not conduct okay once we depress it there will be a voltage here to the gate and then this will allow it to flow and then everything will goes well okay so once at this stage basically you just want to tie the things up right so I'll just tap this voltage they are history everything tidy it up and tidy it up further so now we have a nice uh, thing over here whereby you can place in any location of your choice um, it's actually pretty small in profile all right so the next step is basically just to do all the uh, connectors uh, where you see necessary so if you want a quick release for the um, flywheel so you can do a connector here this is to the battery so if you want to attach the switch directly to this point it's fine okay or you can do a uh, connector uh, like what I did over here okay I basically uh, prepare a connector okay then like this so that later on I can just attach my switch okay so this is the finished product it's actually not a very not very big okay so uh, if you tidy things up yep so this is the diagram so I hope uh, this will be of some help so I'm Tungsten uh, thanks for watching